No, you have the eye. Khulika, khulika l-insanu min ajal. Khulika l-insanu min ajal. What does min mean? Because this is a harf. And sometimes a harf can change its meaning from what is apparent. So min means from, but min can also mean ba, in bil ajal. So it is correct for us to say khulika l-insanu, meaning bil ajal. Uh, but what we're saying here is that you can't make tahrif of the Qur'an. So you can't say, instead of saying Qurikal insanu min ajal, because this is the speech of Allah, that you change it to say Qurikal insanu bil ajal. You can say Qurikal insanu min ajal ma'naha bil ajal. You can say that, because now you have differentiated between the speech of Allah and the tafsir, but you can't change. So that's what we were saying there before. You can't make tahrif, you can't change the physical... Uh, the, the actual wording of the Quran But khurika al-insanu min ajal What does that mean then? So now the majority of the ulama of tafsir Have said that this is a description of Banu Adam And others as you can see here from At-Tabari Have said that it is a description of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala So what does that mean then? Khurika al-insanu min ajal Meaning man has been created to be hasty Except for whoever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mercy on, but generally man cannot wait, they're impatient. This is the nature and the tabi'ah and the natural sort of, uh, you know, I was going to say disposition, but it's not correct for us to say disposition. We say the characteristic. This is the characteristic of human beings. This is how we've been created. But then the other one, khulik al insanu min ajal, meaning, now what you're saying, min ajal, meaning bil ajal, meaning Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created man. With his qudra and his knowledge and his ability in a matter of moments. And this is what we see here. وَقَالَ الْآخَرُونَ مَعْنَاهُ خَلَقَ الْإِنسَانِ مِنْ أَجْلِ أَيْ مِنْ تَعْجِيلَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this is now the sifa of Allah. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created man and it didn't take him long to do so. Despite the intricates of the human body and the... Uh, uh, and the biology connected to it, etc. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as you can see here, وَقَالُوا خَلَقَ اللَّهُ تَعَالَى فِي آخِرِ النَّهَارِ يَوْمُ الْجُمْعَةِ قَبْلُ قُرُوبِ الشَّمْسِ عَلَى عَجَلٍ فِي خَلْقِهِ إِيَا قَبْلَ مَغِيبِهَا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, how we have between Asr and Maghrib, that's how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created insan in that kind of period of time. Subhanallah. So if this tafsir is correct, and it has been attributed to more than one of the salaf, this now teaches us the uh, the uh, the the ability of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, and that He has created something so complex, but something so beautiful and something so uh, perfect, really, if you think about it. خلق الإنسان في أحسن تقويم in a matter of moments, and this now increases the reader of the Quran in his respect and awe and love for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So you're not wrong in what you're saying because it is part of the tafsir, but it's just we have to be careful not to change the ayah. Khulika al-insanu min ajal. Barakallahu feek.